So Sarah and I have been cat parents now for the better part of two months. There's some major differences between owning two corgis and then getting your first cat. They have four story towers that they love to scale and climb. He relieves himself in what looks like a spaceship and he eats four times a day, which also makes Hammy a little annoyed because he only gets to eat twice a day. But yesterday we heard Theodore make a noise that he's never really made before. They like to try to make sounds and emulate different things that ultimately is going to tell their nearby prey that they're not true threats. It's a hunting technique, which is instinctive to them and truly fascinating. So we're gonna actually get a hummingbird feeder and we're gonna see if we can draw more hummingbirds to be outside Theodore's window in the hope that he gets excited by them. Okay, so we gotta find some birds for Theodore, guys. Hammy, only if you're hunting birds. Were you nice enough to put all the measurements together for the hummingbird water? It's not playtime, Amy. You're literally the sneakiest cat ever right now. You need to hunt. <laughs> okay, we gotta boil some water. The sugar. <laughs> it's ripping. Unless you're helping, you gotta get out of here. Roll over. Good boy, Hemi, go get it. Good boy. Hemi, ball. Hemi, roll over. Good boy, go get it. Is that for you? You got something to say? The ball's right behind the basket. You can easily reach that. Look at that. You can reach that right there. That's ridiculous, dude. Kiss. Kiss. That's a good boy. Go ahead. Go ahead. Let's see if it cooled. Yeah, right there is good. Now we wait, little dude. <laughs> we gotta wait. We gotta wait for the birds. It's been two hours. No hummingbirds <laughs> yet. And Theodore is just beside himself. How are we gonna get birds to show up here? Can I get a kiss? Subscribe!